Hey everybody, Animal Man here. It's the middle of the night, but I really wanted to get this hedgehog cage done. And we're ready to put the hedgehogs in. What do you guys think of it? Pretty awesome, huh? So, it's kind of like a tortoise table, but it's a hedgehog table, hedge ledge, whatever whatever you want to call it. And I got these vines at AC Moore at your craft store. Fake uh, plastic vines to kind of decorate it and make it look kind of cool and nice. And uh, I've got their water bottle. Why did I choose blue? Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. Sonic the Hedgehog. And I've got uh, a new larger uh, food bowl. This is actually a reptile food bowl. But it's nice and large and shallow because they go through food like crazy. These little guys eat so much food. And I've got 4-inch PVC pipe from Home Depot that I've cleaned off. I've sanded um, all of the, the lettering off of it, all the marks, you know, the ink and um, around it off the edges and I've got some um, four inch pipe cut into eight inch straight sections and I can configure this in all different ways. I've got a whole bunch more pipes so I can change this up every once in a while for their enrichment. I don't know what else I'm going to put in here. Probably some paper towels so they can drag it into the pipes to make their bed. But this simulates a burrow because they're a burrowing animal. And we're ready to put them in. I've got freckles right here in my hand and he's ready to go. He's a cute little fellow. Say hi, buddy. You ready to go? He's ready to go. He wants to go in his home. So cute. Oh my goodness gracious. Cute little devil. Hmm. <laughs> you ready? Check it out. I mean, first things first, most importantly, there's your food. Gotta let them find their food, find their water. So that's cool, huh? I have some other really cool ideas of things to add to this, but. This is gonna be what they start out with just for now. Let me go get uh, let me go get his brother Speckles. So here's the big guy. This is Speckles. He's a little more funny. Let's get in there. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's leave you to it. Explore. Have fun. What do you think? I love watching them to see if they like it when I first put my animals in a new cage. I know the lights are bright, I'm sorry. So you're going right for the food? That's typical. Typical. And you found the water already. Good boy, Freckles. Good boy. Guys are so darn cute. I can't even, I'm gonna lose my mind. So darn cute. And this guy sleeps and eats, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then curls up and doesn't want to be bugged. He's getting a little bit better. But, so there he is. His brother's zooming all around, exploring. There he is. Sniffing their new place. And I polyurethaned, I, if you watched my other video where I was building this, I, I polyurethaned the bottom of the sides to make it hygienic so I can clean this out very easily because it is made of wood. And it's very important that you seal it. You know, even the edges are caulked and then it's painted polyurethane. And um, I made sure I polyurethane it very, very thick. That way I can put uh, feeder insects in here. I can dump some crickets in here. They can hunt um, for enrichment. I can put mealworms in here. And I don't have to worry about anything crawling out that I don't want to, including these guys. So I feel like over where he is over there, there could be something over there. Um, I'm open to suggestions, guys. If you have any anything cool that you'd like to see them have for enrichment um, or anything that you use for your hedgehogs, let me know. I really don't like exercise wheels. I'd rather have a larger enclosure. I don't like the wheels because hedgehogs like to poop as they run on the wheel and then it becomes a poop cyclone, a poop hurricane, and it's just a disaster. When I got my first hedgehog, uh, that lasted like two days, and then I, I'd had it, cleaning it. So <laughs> I'd rather not do that. Uh, maybe something like a little ramp or a little climbing structure in here in the middle, kind of going over the pipe. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Something maybe over the pipe would be cool. I don't know. Maybe build a little little wooden ramp or use some some treks and build a ramp. This trex is a little bit easier to clean than wood. If you don't know what trex is, it's like a recycled uh, 
plastic and some other stuff, I think. It's what they use for uh, decking material. What are you doing, Freckles? You dig it? You dig it? Can you dig it? He's going to pop up. It's going to be so cute. It's going to be so awesome. Pop your little head up. Pop your little nose up. <laughs> hey man. Oh my goodness. Oh come on. Chill out a little bit, dude. Good boy. Good boy, Speckles. Good boy. Come on, go in the pipe, man. Go in the pipe. All right, I should leave these guys alone and let them explore in the dark. That's what they do. They're nocturnal. So thanks for watching this, guys. I hope uh, this gave you some inspiration of something cool you could do for your animals. Um, I don't want to disturb them right now, but this whole thing is on wheels because it's over one of my aquaponics 100-gallon uh, uh, Rubbermaid stock tanks that's full of catfish and koi and fancy goldfish. Let me turn my headlamp on, maybe you'll see a few fish. There's a few fish down there. No catfish right now, though. Oh, there goes one. But um, it's on wheels, so when I want to feed the fish or check on the fish or maintain it, I just roll this whole thing this way off of it. And then when I'm done, I put it back, and it's out of the way of the rest of the room. So uh, I love the design. I'm super excited about it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And... Um, We'll see you again soon. If you'd like to help support the work that I do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Some of our videos have Amazon links, and that helps support us as well. And I have a new membership program just for you guys. If you want to find out about it, please check out AnimalWorldExperience.com. Click on Become a Member for details. Thanks, guys. <laughs>